It's a close dispute. Both opinions of the, the opinion of unification of Sidon, according to the first opinion, and the opposing opinion that each country has its own Sidon, as Ibn Abbas uh, uh, stated, both of these opinions have giants of ilm that back them. Not any ordinary people, but I'm saying giants of ilm. In fact, some of them have Sahaba that back them. However, uh, personally, I lean more towards the first opinion. And uh, that's really the ideal situation, and it's backed by proof. Uh, when a country declares uh, the Sidon, the ideal scenario is that the world follows along. Why? Because the hadith that point to fasting based on Sidon are general. They're broad, like we said when we mentioned the proof. When the Messenger وسلم, says, Sumu li fast to the sighting of the moon. Wala ta, wala hatta tarao. Don't break your fast until you see the moon. These are general statements to everyone, for everybody in every country. So once it's declared and confirmed in the proper way, then everyone follows along because these statements are broad. Uh, the order to fast based on sighting don't have boundaries restricting them. That's the issue here. Uh, that's like the order to perform prayers. Allah in the Quran said, وَأَقِيمُ الصَّلَاةِ وَآتُ الزَّكَاةِ Perform your salah and give your zakah. He ordered us not to deal in interest, in usury. وَلَا لَا تَأْكُلُ الرِّبَى He ordered us not to commit fornication. وَلَا تَقْرَبُ الزِّنَى All these orders, perform your prayer, give your zakah, don't deal in usury or interest. Uh, don't, don't go near adultery and fornication. All these orders, they apply to everyone everywhere. Do you ever see anyone saying that these orders apply to some people, some places? These apply to everyone, everywhere, in every country. And likewise, the messenger's order about sighted should apply to everyone everywhere. They're general, they're broad, we should keep them as that. Ibn Abbas had his personal ishtihad, radiallahu anhumah. And as I broke it down to you, he had his opinion that every country has its own sighting. But al-Shawkani, rahimahullah, responded to that and he said, the general proof of the Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, ordering everyone to fast, indicates it's for everyone and everywhere. Once the moon, this is the wording of al-Shawkani, once the moon is sighted in one place or one part of the world, Everyone must follow along and fast. If Masr declares it, the, the Arabian Peninsula and the rest of the world should fast. If Mecca declares it, the rest of the world should fast. If uh, in Andalus they happen to confirm it, the rest of the world follows along. Why? Because the hadith are general. The general hadith and the fact that Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu statement was his opinion, it was his ishtihad, not the statement of the messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam.